Hi, my name is Mike. I own uh, Mike's Carburetor Parts and Restoration. Um, you can find parts for uh, most any carburetor at uh, www.mikescarburetor.com. Um, I'm working on a Carter uh, Ball and Ball or Carter BB, as I call it, carburetor, and um, I've been rebuilding it. And I'm going to uh, just quickly uh, show you how to adjust the uh, Choke, or excuse me, choke. Uh, how to adjust the float on this thing? Uh, the setting is first of all is five thirty seconds, and uh, so and this one is like six. And uh, <clears throat> what you do, you have to have the needle and seed in there. And by the way, um, my kit comes with two needle and seats for this uh, carburetor. Uh, one is longer than the other, and it's pretty obvious. Of course, you can compare it with the old one, but uh, if you put the long one in there, your your float your float won't move. It's just way too long, so it's pretty easy to figure out which one it is. And anyway, <clears throat> so I got the needle and seat in there, and uh, what you do is just hold it up, not not real tight, just just hold it up like you would if it was full of gas, and you measure from the top of the carburetor here without the gasket to the top of the uh, float and you want like 530 seconds and if you need to adjust it you adjust this lip right here which you can actually do uh, uh, while it's still in the carburetor okay now um, I got the pin in there but uh, these ball and balls also use this little clip that holds it down and um, I gotta clean this one up because it's got some rust on it but uh, it goes in here just like this and that holds it down so be sure that's in there otherwise the float is going to to start floating up like this and uh, mess everything up and, and I've seen a lot of them have come in here without that in there so uh, which tells me that what the obvious problem was anyhow that's how you measure the float level <clears throat>